If you were, for whatever reason, free falling from the sky with arms outstretched, you'd be traveling at around 124 miles per hour. That's almost 200 feet per second. That number is calculated by taking a look at terminal velocity, or the highest velocity achievable by an object as it falls through the air. Terminal velocity occurs once the sum of the drag force and buoyancy equals the downward force of gravity acting on the object. Basically, that's you and some air resistance versus gravity. Now, if you want to avoid hitting the ground at speeds that would likely kill you, like, you know, 124 miles per hour, the most popular method of slowing down is by creating enough air resistance to counter the Earth's gravity pulling you in for one final gentle hug. This is where a parachute can come in handy. They're designed to slow down your terminal velocity by about 90%, or roughly slow you down to 12 miles per hour. They do so by creating a large enough surface area which is designed to create a huge amount of drag. Oh, and it's not just for the free-falling human either. You may also see high-speed aircrafts, drag racing cars, and world-class athletes using a horizontal parachute to help them slow down. Swoosh! Speaking of world class, the United States Air Force is powered by airmen, fueled by innovation. If you like this episode about things ripping through the air, check out this one on Thunder. Thunder and lightning go together like peanut butter and jelly, and by that I mean always. Who would eat a jelly-only sandwich?